Hi, Helen from crystalsandcrochet.com here and welcome to part two of the Sweet Caroline Crochet Along. Okay, so part two starts with round 14 and we are going to join with a back post half double crochet in any stitch. Okay, so yarn over, just pick any stitch round the back and just through all three. Okay, and then you are going to back post half double crochet in the next 179 stitches. So that's each stitch around. So a very simple round to start part two. So just back post half double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, I'll catch up with you at the end. Okay, so just making those last few back post half double crochets to complete round 14. There we go. Okay, so then we're going to fasten off and secure to that first back post half double crochet. So I'm going to do an invisible join the same as all the other rounds where we fastened off. Okay, so there we are. That's round 14. So what you now have is a full circle, complete circle and just neatly turned up at the edges. Okay. Okay, moving on to round 15. In the pattern, the hint says that the double cluster, double crochet cluster groups will line up with a triple cluster from round 10. Okay, so uh, 14, 13, 11, 11, right, so these ones that we did in round 10 because this second colour was round 11. So each of our cluster groups is going to line up with one of these. Okay, so we're going to start off joining with a standing single crochet in the back post half double crochet made in the second double crochet of any increase. So let me move away from my join there. And here we go, we've got an increase here. So the stitch that's made into the second one is this one here, if I can get my hook in there. There we go. So that back post half double crochet that is made into the second double crochet of this increase, that is where we're going to start with a standing single crochet, okay? Important to get this first stitch in the right place so that all of the cluster groups that we're going to make are going to line up properly so that the center part, the circle part of your square is going to sit correctly and not skew off to one side. Okay. And also this stitch lines up with the cluster that was here in round 11. Okay, so we're going to chain one and we're going to skip three stitches. One, two, three. So into this next stitch here, we are going to double crochet cluster 
and chain two twice. Okay, so we're going to yarn over into that stitch and make a double crochet cluster. So that's three partial double crochets and then we're going to chain two and then we're going to repeat that. Okay, so into that same stitch make a second double crochet cluster and chain two and we're then going to make another double crochet cluster. So we've got three double crochet clusters and two chain two spaces. Okay, we're then going to chain one and skip the next three stitches and because we've got quite a lot in this stitch it's easy for this next stitch to get sort of pushed out of the way and to get hidden. So make sure that you count that one. One, two, three. And we're then going to single crochet in the next eight stitches. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. Okay, so that's our repeat. So we've got a chain one, skip three stitches and then in that next stitch we're going to do, a, let me just zoom in, so you, whoops, that's out, let's go in, there we go, so you've got double crochet cluster, chain two, twice, then another double crochet cluster, chain one, skip three stitches and then single crochet in those next eight stitches and then we start again. Okay, so let me just show you again. So we've got a chain one, we're going to skip three stitches and then in that next stitch we're going to double crochet cluster and chain two twice. Okay, so there's one, and it's a second cluster, and chain two. We're then going to make a third double crochet cluster in that same stitch chain one skip those next one two three stitches and then single crochet in oops the next eight Six, seven, and eight. Okay, so as you can see, these cluster groups line up with these treble clusters that we made back in round ten. Okay, and that's what will happen that basically they will line up every second cluster. Okay, so carry on all the way round. On that last repeat you're only going to need to make seven single crochets because you've already got one here. Join there and fasten off your ends and I will see you for round 16. Okay, so moving on to round 16, we're going to join 
with a standing single crochet in the sixth single crochet of any repeat. So we've got eight here, so two, four, here's number six, third from the end, and just straight in there with a standing single crochet. Okay, do remember all the way through as you finish each round to double check your stitch count against the pattern to make sure that you've got it absolutely right. Okay, I'm just going to zoom us in a weeny bit. That's it. Okay. Okay, so we're going to skip those next two stitches and then in this first chain one space we're going to make three double crochet. Okay, so one, two, and three. We're then going to start a, a little repeat, although it's only a, only a do it twice type of thing. Front post single crochet around the next cluster and five double crochet into the chain two space. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four and five. Front post, single around that next cluster and then again five double crochet into that chain two space. Uh, two, three, four and five. Okay, so we've done that twice and we're now going to front post single crochet around that cluster and then three double crochet in this chain one space to match with this side. One, two, three. Okay, now we need to skip the next two stitches and again remember that we've made those into that chain one space. So that very first stitch there, we need to skip that one and the one next to it and we're then going to single crochet in the next four. Two three and four. So you've got two stitches at each end of that eight that you're skipping and then you're making single crochets into the four in the middle. Okay so this is what we've got. Let me just show you once more. Okay so we're going to skip these two stitches into the chain one space we've got three double crochet one two and three front post single whoops around the cluster and then five double crochet into the chain two space that's two three, four and five, front post single around the cluster and then again five double crochet into the chain two space, two, three, four and five, front post single around that next cluster and then three double crochet 
into that next chain one space. Skip those first two and single crochet in the next four. Which again leaves us two at that end. Okay, so that's your repeat. Um, so you need to do that 12 times all the way round and then again when you get round to the beginning here where we made that first single crochet you're only going to have three to make in that repeat. Join with an invisible join there and I'll see you for round 17. Okay, so on to round 17 now. We're going to join with a standing single crochet in the third single crochet of any repeat. Okay, so obviously we've only got four, so there's the third one. And we're going to pop a standing single crochet in there. Okay, we're now going to skip that next stitch and we're going to make a back post single crochet around the next three stitches. So that's these three double crochets that we made into the chain one space. There we go, so three back post single crochets in there. We're going to skip that front post stitch and we're going to back post single crochet around the next five stitches and we're going to do that twice. So we're not going to work into any of these front post stitches at all. So one two, three, four and five. Skip that next one and one, two, three, four and five. Okay, so we've done that twice and now we're going to skip the next front post stitch there and we're going to make a back post single crochet around each of those next three. So we've made a back post single crochet around each of those double crochets and we've skipped the three front post stitches there. Okay, you're now going to skip the next stitch here and single crochet in the next two. Okay, so that's our repeat. Again, a very simple little repeat for this round. Okay, so I'll just show you once more skip that next stitch, back post single crochet around the next, oops, get my hook round properly, that's it, around the next three stitches, skip the front post stitch there and back post single around the next five, that's three, four and five. Okay, skip that next front post and then back post single round the next five stitches. One, two, three, oops, four and 
five. Got a little bit of stray dark fluff there that can come out. Skip that next front post stitch. Back post single around those next three. Skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next two stitches. Okay. Continue all the way around. Keep going with that repeat until you come to the end here where we're going to join to this first single crochet with a slip stitch. Okay, and I'll catch up with you once we've got to there. Okay, so round 17 finished and we're going to move straight into round 18. So we've joined here in that single crochet with a slip stitch. We now need to slip stitch into the next stitch. Okay, so we're slip stitching into that first back post single crochet. And we're going to chain three and double crochet into that same stitch. Okay, so we've got two double crochets in that first one. Now we've got a little repeat, we're going to double crochet in the next four stitches and then two double crochet in the next. Okay, so one, two, three and four and then two double crochet in the next stitch and we need to do that three times okay to take us all the way round to the other side so I've done it once so there's one two three and four, whoops, four. Just move around a weeny bit. And then two in the next one. So that's twice. And again, one, two, three, four and two in the next stitch and that will fall into the last back post single that you did. Okay, so you've got two in the first one and then you do four and two, four and two, four and two. Okay, then we're going to chain one and we're going to skip these two single crochets and we start again, we've got two double crochet going into that very first stitch so it matches exactly what we did here to begin with. Okay, and then carry on round. Double crochet in the next four, two double crochet in the next one, three times. Chain one, skip these two stitches, two double crochet, into that first back post single on that side. Okay, so again, nice simple repeat all the way around. Just check each time that you've got the right number of stitches there, the fact that you've got two falling into that last back post single each time should keep you right. Chain one skip these two single crochets, two double crochets into that first back post single. Okay, carry on all the way round like that and I will catch up with you at the end here. Okay, okay so just the last two double crochet going in there and then don't forget that last chain one. Okay, 
and then we can fasten off over here and that is round <coughs> excuse me I've gone all croaky that's round 18 finished there we go okay so on each shell or petal we've got two double crochet and then three sets of four and two, two, four and two, and a chain one before we skip those two single crochet in there. Okay, so that's round 18 finished and we'll move on to round 19. Okay, round 19. Um, really fun stitch in this one something that I sort of made up a little while ago with the, the puffy poncho that I did um, so I'm going to take you through it quite slowly okay so let's just zoom us in a little bit there we go okay so we're going to join with a standing back post double crochet around the last stitch of any 20 double crochet group. Okay, so there's our last one there. So we go around there and make a standing back post double crochet. Okay. Now we're going to work in front of this chain one space and down into these two single crochets from round 17. Okay, so we are going to puff stitch two together. Okay, so first of all, to do the puff stitch, we're going to yarn over and then we're going to go down into that first single crochet and up, making sure that that chain one space is behind our hook and we are going to then pull up a loop to the same height as our back post double here so we're coming right up okay so that's yarn over and then insert the hook and pull up a loop that's once so we're going to go two three and four. So that's a normal puff stitch that we would then yarn over and pull through to make that puff stitch but we're doing two together okay so now all we're going to do is repeat exactly what we've done but into the next stitch. So we're going to yarn over into the next stitch making sure that we're in front of that previous round and pull right up okay and do that four times so there's one if you can get your hook through Helen two sorry I'm feeling cack handed trying to do it to show you clearly on the video okay so that's three and four there we go okay so effectively you've got two puff stitches there but you just haven't close them yet so all you're going to do is yarn over and pull through all of those loops and then make a chain one but don't pull that really tight there okay keep it so that your puff stitch is nice and square rather than being pinched together okay let me zoom out a little bit now whoops wrong way sorry 
otherwise you won't be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, so then we're going to back post double crochet around the next three stitches. So that first one may be just a little bit fiddly, getting in there behind our big old puff stitch two together. So that's one, two, and three. And then we're going to back post half double crochet around the next three. So there we go. Whoops, one, two, and three. And then we're going to back post single around the next eight stitches. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then we're basically going to mirror what we've done here so we're going to do three back post half doubles two and three and then three back post double crochets one two and three. Okay, so that is our repeat. We're going to puff stitch two together, working in front of the chain one space and down into these two single crochets from round 17. And then we've got, okay, so three back post double crochets, three back post half doubles, eight back post single, three back post half double, three back post double. Okay, so I'll just show you the puff stitch two together again. You can just come in a weeny bit. That's it. Okay. So a puff stitch is yarn over into our stitch but making sure we're in front of that chain one space. Yarn over, pull up a loop and pull up to the height of that back post double. Okay, and we need to do that whole movement four times. So we've done it once, so it's yarn over, into the stitch, pull up a loop, all the way up. That's two, three, and four. And then into the next stitch. One, two, three and four. Yarn over and that your hook should move really loosely and easily through all of those. So when you yarn over and pull through it goes through really quite easily. And then just yarn over and make that chain one. Keeping that nice and square so you're not pinching it together at the top. Okay, and then again, just make sure that you don't skip that very first back post double, around that first 
double crochet okay and then it's three back post double three back post half double eight back post single and then three half double and three double again okay so just carry on all the way around take your time with these puff stitch two togethers because it really is worth getting them absolutely perfect okay you will love the way that it looks when we've done a few more rounds okay so I'll catch up with you back at the end of this round okay so round 19 complete and let's move on to round 20 the main thing to remember is that with your puff stitch two together this stitch to the side here is the stitch you're going to work into you're not going to work into that closing chain one space okay so we're going to start by joining with a standing double crochet in any puff stitch two together so into the puff stitch there we're not going to work into that chain one that we use to close the puff stitch two together at all okay and we are going to double crochet three together over the next three stitches so a little bit the same as a lot of the clusters we've worked on we're going to come into this next stitch pull up a loop and come through two okay so that's one partial treble then into the next stitch and do the same thing that's two and then the next stitch and there we've got three partial double crochets so we yarn over and pull through she says we yarn over and pull through all four loops and that is our double crochet three together over three stitches okay then we are going to half double crochet in the next three one two and three and then we are going to single crochet in the next eight one two three four five six seven and eight and then half double crochet in the next three and you'll notice that these stitches actually match the round before so your half doubles you're making into the back post half doubles and your singles you're making into the back post singles and then your <clears throat> excuse me your double crochet three together you're going to make over those three back post double crochets okay so again yarn over into that first stitch pull up your loop and through two and again into the second stitch and then into the third stitch yarn over and pull through all four loops Okay, and then we're going to double crochet into the puff stitch puff stitch two together okay so also as you make that double crochet in there it sort of squashes up that chain one so you can't really see it okay so again you double crochet three together so one two and three and then you're going to do three half double crochet eight single crochet three 
half double crochet and the double crochet three together and then your double crochet into the puff stitch two together. Okay, so what we're doing again is we're sort of smoothing and rounding this out again. Okay, so just carry on all the way around until you come back to the first double crochet, the standing double crochet that we did here and we're going to join to that with a slip stitch. Okay, so I'll catch up with you as I come back round to here. Okay, so that's round 20 finished and we've joined at the end there with a slip stitch. And now we can go straight into round 21. Okay, so we're going to chain three. Okay, and that counts as a double crochet in that first stitch. And we're now going to double crochet in the next stitch, which is our double crochet three together. Okay, and again we're following this line, so we're going to three half double crochet, or half double crochet in the next three stitches. and then single crochet in the next eight. One, two, three, oops, four, five, six, seven, and eight half double crochet in the next three, one, two, and three, and then double crochet in the next three stitches. So that's one into that first double crochet three together, one into the double crochet that we made into our big puff stitch here and then one into that next double crochet three together. Okay so again you can see that we're sort of following around what we've been doing and we're just evening this up into a circle again. Okay, so really, really simple repeat. You've got your three double crochets, then half double crochet in the next three stitches, single crochet in the next eight, half double in the next three, double in the next three. Okay, so just follow that repeat all the way round and when you get to the end, join onto the top here of that chain three because that counts as our first double crochet there. <clears throat> Fasten off and secure your ends. Okay. Okay, so on to round 22. We are going to join with a standing single crochet in the first single crochet of any repeat. So on each repeat we've got our three double crochet, three half double and then there is our first single crochet in there. So let's just get my yarn all straight and we're going to join with a standing single crochet in that first single crochet. Okay, let me just zoom in a weeny bit. Right, so we're then going to skip the next three stitches. Okay, so we've got one, two, three. Then in this next stitch here, 
we are going to treble two together and chain one four times and then make another treble two together. Okay, so for a treble two together, we are going to yarn over twice one, two, three that we're skipping into that fourth stitch. Now, to avoid getting a big loop, big baggy loop here on the top, if you fold your work over and sort of bring the two pieces together, you'll find that you're not stretching the top of that stitch up so it won't go so baggy. And if you can avoid pushing up and down Sorry, everything's falling off the table here. Let me do it this way. Hopefully you can still see with the work behind. Um, see, if, you, if you're pulling too much, this all goes really loose in here and that's what causes the problem. Okay, so let's start again. Okay, so we're going to yarn over twice and then pull down so that you're rolling that over two, three, into the fourth one and fold your work over like that so that you're bringing this bit as close to here as you possibly can. And then through two, through two. Okay, hold the top here with your finger behind and then yarn over twice. Try to make your yarn overs not too tight so that you haven't got to move your hook too much. Okay, through and then chain one. Okay, the slower I try to do this, the looser it becomes. Okay, but that's the basic idea. So let me move this now so that we can see more clearly. Okay, so that's a treble two together and chain one and then we're going to do the same again. through all three, chain one. Okay, so we've done that twice. And, oops, three times. and four times. Okay, so we've got four treble two togethers with a chain one space after each. Then we're gonna do a final treble two together, all in that same stitch. Okay, we're then going to skip the next three stitches and make sure that you count this first one here. So one, two, three, and we are then going to single crochet in the next 44 stitches. One, two, three. Okay, so just Make sure that you double check your count because what you're doing here is you're starting to position your corners. Okay, so it is very important that you get this absolutely right, otherwise your square will be skew if. Okay, so skip three and then 44 single crochet. Okay, so 44 single crochet. 
and what you will notice is that last one, number 44, falls into the first single crochet of this repeat, okay? So everything comes out totally even and your corners will sit, so you've got like two arches here and then on these two arches you'll have a corner each, okay? And it will work out that way for all of them. So you've got like three of the big um, puff stitch two togethers that will sit on each side, okay? So it will all look really nice and even when you're done. Okay, so just carry on and do that again. So we're going to skip the next three stitches and then in that next stitch we're going to do this again where we've got a treble two together, chain one, four times and then a fifth treble two together. Skip three stitches and then 44 single crochet. Okay, and then join to this standing single crochet and fasten off. And that's round 22. Okay, so that's round 22 finished. And now let's move on to round 23, where we've got uh, another little slightly different stitch. Um, again, this is another one that I've just made up. Um, a mini puff stitch and it's done a little bit differently to normal puff stitches so again I'm going to take it quite slowly as I take you through it so that you can see exactly what we're doing. Okay so we are going to join with a standing single crochet in the 43rd single crochet of any side because obviously now we've got corners okay and we're going to build these corners up over the next few rounds so now all of your stitch counts are per side okay so we've got 44 single crochets here so number 43 is the next to last and we're going to join in there with a standing single crochet okay now I'm going to zoom in a weeny bit okay so, we're going to skip this next stitch and we're going to make a mini puff stitch between the last single crochet and the first treble two together. Okay, so to make a mini puff stitch, no yarn over, just straight into the space and pull up a loop, but keep it right level with the top so you're only working to single crochet height okay don't pull up at all yarn over and then you're going to repeat that three times okay so into the space pull up your loop yarn over that's two into the space grab your loop yarn over and with that last or third yarn over you're just going to pull straight through all of those loops she says. Come on, what am I tangled on? There we go. Okay and then chain one to close. So you've got a little mini puff stitch in there. Okay, then we are going to chain one, skip the next stitch, which is our treble two together, and we're going to make a mini puff stitch in the chain one space. We're going to do that four times. Okay, so I've chained one, so straight into the space, grab your yarn, pull up a loop, but don't lift it. Keep it level with the top of your work and yarn over and then we're going to do that two and 
three times and that last or third yarn over we're going to pull through and chain one to finish that mini puff stitch off. Okay, I'm just going to zoom back out, oops, wrong way again, so you can see the bigger picture. Okay, so chain one, straight into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over, into the space, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through, chain one, chain one. In we go again, pull up a loop, yarn over, in, loop, yarn over, in, loop, yarn over and through. Chain one to close and then chain one. And then again, in we go, two and three, chain one to close. Okay, so that's our first one. And then in our repeat, we've done a mini puff, a, sorry, a chain one, skip the next stitch, mini puff stitch. So we've done that one, two, three, four times. Okay, we're now gonna chain one and skip this stitch and we're going to make our last mini puff stitch here between the treble two together and the first single crochet so it matches this side. Okay so again in between one, two and three and through chain one to close. And we are now going to skip this stitch, which we've already covered here with this one. So don't skip an extra stitch, okay? It's that single crochet there that we're skipping. And we're then just going to single crochet in the next 42 stitches. So just keep going all the way along. But there you can see, lift that up. I normally work with light and sort of mid coloured yarns because it's so much better for photographs. But I just wanted to use some darker colours this time. Um, and hopefully on the video it shows up well enough. Okay, so you can see that your mini puff stitches, you've not really got any height to them at all. They're just sitting really neatly round the top of that, what will be our corner. Okay, so carry on those 42 single crochets, which will bring you to the last but one in the next corner. And then again, work the corner with the little mini puffs. Okay, do that around all four sides and then you're going to join to this standing single crochet fasten off and secure your ends okay and I will see you for round 24 okay moving on to round 24 we are going to join with a standing single crochet in the 40th stitch of any side. So if you remember we've got 42 stitches here so third one back is number 40 there. Okay so just join with a standing single crochet in there. Okay now don't worry if where we're doing all of these single crochets here if your sides start to curl in okay that will happen okay don't worry about it as we come out and become more square and we start to build these sides up the curling will stop but you will get it for a few rows so don't worry about that at all 
Okay, so we are going to skip these next two stitches here and then we are going to make three double crochet between the last single crochet and the mini puff. Now, if I just pull this apart, you might be able to see, can you see there's like a, a diagonal bit coming across behind that little mini puff stitch. You want to try to get underneath that, okay? So rather than just in the top here, get your hook so that you've got that third loop of that little mini puff stitch around your hook as well, okay? So just make sure that you pick that up and then three double crochet in that oops, space between the last single crochet and the first mini puff stitch. Okay, I'm just going to try and move my lights a little bit more just to see if it makes a weeny bit of difference here. It's a bit of a dull day today. Okay, so we're now going to skip the next mini puff stitch and make three double crochet in the next chain one space five times. Okay, so just straight in to that chain one space one, two, and three. Skip the next puff stitch. One, two, and three. And you might, as I'm doing this, you may well see, as I lift that up, you can see that third loop from the puff stitch there. You don't want to catch that in. You're working into the chain one space. Okay, it was only with that first one because there isn't a chain one space at the beginning. It's only there that you want to make sure you get into the stitch properly. So here we're just three double crochet into each chain one space. So that's number two and number three. And let's make sure we've done that five times. That was our first one, and then one, two, three, four, five times there. And then we are going to skip that mini puff stitch again, and this time we're going between the mini puff stitch and the first single crochet, again with three double crochet. So again, you want to make sure that you get in between and don't pick up that third loop from the single crochet. So one, two and three. So again we've worked in between these stitches, we haven't worked into that first single crochet there. So we need to skip that one and the next one and we're then going to single crochet in the next 38 stitches. Okay, so just all the way round to the next corner. If I zoom right in you can see each time you're going to stop with two stitches left before your next mini puff stitch. That first group of three double crochet goes between that last single crochet and that first mini puff stitch. And then five sets of three double crochet made into the chain one spaces. And then the final set of three double crochet goes between the mini puff stitch and the first single crochet. 
So then you're going to skip that first one and the next one and you're then going to make 38 single crochet. Okay, so repeat that for each side and I will see you for round 25. Okay, so moving on to round 25, which is the last round in this second part of our Sweet Caroline Crochet Along. This time we are going to join with a standing half double crochet. Okay, in the last single crochet of any side. So if I just turn around here. So the last single crochet of any side, and we're just straight in with a standing half double crochet. Okay, so we've now got three double crochets here. We need to make a half double into each of those. Okay, so one, two, and three. I'm just going to zoom in a weeny bit because with this part, can get a bit tricky as to which stitches you're skipping and which you're not. Okay, but there is a little rhythm to it. Okay, so we're going to front post treble around the next mini puff stitch from round 23. So this again is why I said make sure that you get that third loop in there because we need to go right around that stitch and make a front post treble around it. Okay, we're now going to skip the next stitch which is the first double crochet of that three and we're going to half double crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, and we're then going to repeat that, okay, because the pattern says to do that twice. So front post treble around that mini puff stitch, skip that next double crochet, the first one, and half double crochet in the next two. Okay, front post treble around the next mini puff stitch. Oops. Skip the next stitch, which is that first one, and then in the next stitch, so the second of this three, we are going to form a corner. So we're going to do two half double crochet, one double crochet, and two half double crochet. Okay, now if you find it helpful, pop a stitch marker into the double crochet because that is your corner stitch that you are going to work into. Okay, and we're going to do a few corners like that so you might find it helpful to just mark that corner stitch. Okay, now coming back down away from the corner, we've sort of got the same repeat but slightly different. Okay, because on this side we were skipping the first double crochet in each of these sets of three. Now as we go down, we're going to skip the last one. Okay, so skip that next stitch, front post treble, around your, whoops, start again, front post treble around your mini puff stitch, ok, 
okay remember you've skipped that stitch behind there so you're then going to half double in the next two stitches so that's the first and second of that three double crochet group okay and we're going to repeat that again so we're skipping this stitch front post treble around our little mini puff stitch half double crochet in the next two stitches skip that one front post treble around that little uh, mini puff stitch and then yeah okay so we skip that one so then into those two that forms our three repeats okay so we've skipped one here front post treble two half doubles skip the stitch front post treble two half doubles skip a stitch front post treble two half doubles so we've repeated three times coming down on this side whereas when we went up we did two repeats and then an extra little piece in here okay and then we are going to half double crochet in the next five stitches okay so one two three four and five okay so you've actually got seven half double crochets here the first two are part of the repeat then we've got an extra five <clears throat> You're then going to single crochet in the next 30 stitches, okay? And I will catch up with you there before we go into the next corner. Okay, so 28, 29, 29 and 30. Okay, so again, it's going to curl up. Don't worry about it. It's all part of the plan. Okay, so... 30 single crochets and then we're going to half double crochet in the next seven stitches one two three four five six and seven Okay, and this sort of brings us to where we started the repeat, because we started over here, we joined with a half double crochet and then did a half double crochet in the next three stitches, and our repeat then starts from this front post treble. Okay, so your repeat basically takes you from the front post treble up to the corner, all the way along, and to this point okay so then we start again but you've got seven half double crochets here and you've also got seven here okay because you've got the two from the last repeat of this little mini repeat here plus the five okay so you've got seven each side and 30 single crochets in the middle and then on each corner you've got six front post trebles and then you've got the half doubles in between and your corner there okay so let me just show you up to the corner again So we're going to front post treble around that mini puff stitch 
and then we're going to skip the next stitch and half double crochet in the next two and we're going to do that twice okay so there's one okay skip the next stitch and two half double crochets and that's the second so that's the twice on the repeat and then another front post treble around that mini puff stitch then we skip this first double crochet and we make our corner into the center one and our corner is two half double crochet a double crochet and then two half double crochet and pop my stitch marker into the double okay so that's a side from corner to corner okay and the stitch count will basically go from this corner up to the last stitch before that corner okay so that's round 25 and part two of our Sweet Caroline crochet along completed. Thanks for watching, thanks for hooking along and I will see you for part three. <laughs>